So I'm happy to report that the time lapse just worked perfectly. It ran from 1319 on the 27th of August until 1803 on the 28th of August. So more than 28 hours encompassing two sunsets. The P900 operated flawlessly on the AC power adapter taking one photograph every minute which I have compiled into a video at 24 frames per second. What I'd like you to note on the telescope is this solar alignment site at the front which is just a metal plate with a hole allowing the sun to shine through to a back plate which has a black circle and you can see that the spot of sunlight is centered in that black circle. Additionally underneath the telescope is a small spot of light and as the telescope rotates that point of light does not change that is confirming that it is pointing at the sun the whole time. When we move forward 24 hours you can again see that the solar alignment site is centered and this spot of light under the telescope is again not moving. So that's confirming that the telescope is pointing at the sun the whole time. Now there's no trickery, there's no programming, it's simple geometry because this is an equatorial mount that is correctly polar aligned with north-south and elevated at 34 degrees which matches the latitude of Sydney, Australia. By aligning it that way the rotational axis is aligned perfectly with the Earth's rotational axis and all the telescope is doing is rotating equal and opposite to the rotation of the Earth. Therefore it is remaining pointed directly at the Sun. Now in this video you will see a bit of rain on the left. I put the umbrella over the camera at one point because it was raining quite heavily and I wanted to try and keep the time lapse running. Additionally just before midnight you'll see that I put a lens cap on the eyepiece so I did that myself. So I'll just play the time lapse now and you can see the motion of the telescope yourself and in a future video I'm going to analyze this motion in more detail demonstrating what it actually looks like with a telescope mounted on a globe.